Today is a very important show. It's one show you cannot afford to miss. So grab a pen and a piece of paper, call your friends, get your family involved, because I'm issuing an alert. There's a state of emergency with America's water. Lethal contaminants are creating a toxic mix in the water that you're drinking, in the water you bathe in, and the water you brush your teeth with. Parasites, chemical cleaning agents, arsenic, even animal feces can be lurking in the water in your home, and you don't even know it. Today, I'll tell you exactly what you must know about the water you drink and how to protect yourself and your family. This is life-saving information. Take a look. Water. It's the primal source of all life on our planet. We drink it. We bathe in it. We grow our food with it. Without it, we will die. So when we turn on the faucets in our homes, we expect the water that pours out to be clean, fresh, and safe. What you don't know is much of our water is making us sick, maybe even killing us. Here are the hard facts. Every year, nearly 20 million of us get sick from water infected by parasites, bacteria, and viruses. And one out of every 10 of us gets exposed to water contaminated with toxic chemicals, poisoning our bodies. Manganese, barium, lead, even arsenic, all of it pumped illegally into our soil contaminating our water supply. The New York Times reports the Clean Water Act, passed in 1972 to protect the safety of our water, has been violated more than half a million times just in the last five years alone. Who's poisoning our water? Businesses of every kind, from large chemical factories and power plants to your local gas stations and dry cleaners. But also you and me, the products we use every day. Prescription drugs, shampoos, sunscreen, all are showing up in our water supply and often can't be filtered out. America's compromised water puts all of us at risk. But would you know if you and your family are safe? I've called on the very best experts to shed some light on this very dark subject. First up, Charles Duhigg. He's a New York Times reporter who has blown the lid off what's happening to America's water. In a series of articles called Toxic Water, Charles has spent the last 10 months compiling a state-by-state -state list of clean water violations that is absolutely terrifying. It's way more extensive than any information the EPA has, and it exposes major flaws in the way our government protects our water. So Charles, again, congratulations. And I, I opened the Times, and I saw that big picture on the front page of a kid whose teeth had been rotted by some of the food uh, and water that he'd been exposed to. Teach us a little bit about where these pollutants are all coming from. Share with us some insights about how this would naturally happen uh, even if someone didn't want it to happen. Well, Congress in the 1970s passed laws to protect all of our water sources. The Clean Water Act is the most famous of these. But laws are only as good as they are enforced. And what we discovered is that over the last couple of years, and basically since the early 2000s, these laws haven't been enforced. So companies that produce chemicals, companies like gas stations that have all these toxins and pollutants have been dumping them into waterways without anyone slapping them on the wrists. Unless you think it's not happening in your home, I love Charles to just explain to us how widespread this really is. Absolutely. We looked at data from every single state in the Union. And well, here, here's an image of that. If you can take a look back here, you can see uh, uh, this country and find your state and you'll see I mean, the number of violation, a percentage of violation rates in your state. And there's no state uh, with one exception that's zero in that state we're just not sure about yet. <laughs> Absolutely, you're exactly right. Be more specific if you can about who's to blame. Well, I think there's two there's two fingers that we can point. The first is the companies themselves that are dumping things that they know have health impacts into waterways. But the second finger, and, and the other people who are to blame, are the state regulators. Yeah, it's compelling when you understand it, you realize how far-reaching it really is. It impacts all of our lives. Well, in West Virginia,